she didn't have any reason to run. She only got killed. I mean, there's nothing to be afraid of. Poor lady. So that's just some of the bizarreness that's going on. I got a bunch of news. It's really important, but I, I, I'm going to go to your calls as promised. I'm going to try to move to each caller quickly. So get ready. We're going to go to Mike. Then we're going to go to Lou and Frederico and Mike and Robert. So start your engines. Mike in California, you're on the air. Go ahead. Alex, brother, thanks for having me. How you doing today? I'm good, brother. Good to talk to you. You too, brother. Hey, sipping on some of that coffee. You guys got to go out and get it. Some of the best stuff I've had. I look at the Olympics real quick. It's funny. All these horror stories, you hear all these journalists come out flooding with stories from hotels, et cetera. And yet that is where we're moving in this country. We look over at Russia and say, oh, my God, that's horrible. And whether it's conditions of living, uh, you know, surveillance, that's what we're moving towards. Lastly, wanted to get your opinion on the attacks on our grid out here in California. I've got a relative with PG&E who says they really just uh, hit the terrorist aspect of that to, uh, again, drum up fear later on. But they ch check on us with these checkpoints and yet don't watch our power grids. Want to get your thoughts on that, brother? Well, the checkpoint is meant to train you where they fully control the population. There's no Fourth Amendment and everyone is a slave until uh, completely destroyed. Not, not even guilty until proven uh, innocent. We're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. Now we're guilty until proven innocent. Now we're just guilty, 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 guilty. And from California to Kentucky, they have all these federally funded checkpoints where we're going to make sure you're not eating. We're going to make sure we're going to rifle through the vehicle. Meanwhile, you know, the government's totally run by criminals. We're overrun just by tyranny. It's a great point. But yeah, Russia is trying to reform itself and trying to go in the right direction. Uh, though Putin's had to crack down, and I don't even agree with what he's done, because the West is trying to overthrow his country. Just like the West is trying to overthrow and destroy Ukraine. They want to destroy Ukraine because once they've done that, they can come in and buy it up for pennies on the dollar. That's why these new State Department uh, recordings that were probably recorded by the Russians or somebody, uh, the State Department's freaking out about their phone calls being released. You know, not only the West has an NSA, folks, and it's the ambassador on the horn with a State Department official, and uh, the audio's up on Infowars.com. There's a bunch of cussing. I'm not going to play it. And they're like, F Russia, F the EU, you know, just, you know, bring down the country. And, and, and that's what the goal is. They don't, it's just order out of chaos. It's, it's destroy everything. And that's what they do. Uh, let's go. Thank you, Mike. Uh, let's go to Lou in Pennsylvania. You're on the air talking about the most beautiful woman. Her heart is beautiful. The, the most wonderful, truth-telling, wholesome woman in the world, Hillary Rodham. Oh, my goodness, make her president, Clinton. And, of course, if I don't like Hillary when she runs, it's because I'm against women. Just like if you, if you don't like Obama, you're against blacks. It's not that he's a horrible person. Uh, go ahead, Lou. You're on the air. Uh, yeah, thanks, Alex. Uh, I can't imagine how she could possibly be considered a front-runner the next presidential election. I can't imagine uh, that young women like her. Well, Can you imagine you know if you were a young woman getting in bed with Janet Reno uh, or, or, or somebody like Hillary Clinton? I mean, I'm sorry I have to talk like that, but let's just get down to brass tacks. This is, this is, this is, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, uh, well, when uh, Vince Foster was killed, I, just like immediately, Bill and Hillary came out saying, oh, oh, what a terrible thing, he committed suicide. And coming to that conclusion, when it seems to me the circumstances were quite suspicious, that at the least they would have some reserve and hold back judgment on how he died. And then to see, uh, see this evidence that came out about what was really not a suicide at all. Uh, with Vince Foster. Oh, no. Hillary's a nice person. She never did anything wrong. She's a and, nice lady. Uh, what do you think of the Clinton Chronicles? It's this long, uh, like, documentary. Oh, I, yeah, I, no, I, I used to air it. I used to air it on Access Television when it first came out, like, in 1996. Uh, and then they got a couple more came out of that. That was Jeremiah Films. I've interviewed the head of Jeremiah Films many times, and Who's one of the main witnesses on there? I've interviewed him so many times. He talks even more like this than me. Uh, what's his name? It'll pop my head in a minute.
But uh, yeah, no, it's it's no, and you know how bad the Clintons are, and then they try to make them like Hollywood stars. Look how beautiful Hillary is. Look how wonderful Michelle Obama is. Michelle Obama looks like a snapping turtle or something. I mean, you know. It's not because she's black. The media will probably say that. Oh, a lot of beautiful black women out there. Beautiful women of every, you know, quote, derivation. But Michelle Obama looks like a crazy vampire cross with a snapping turtle. I mean, Hillary looks like a pile of dog crap. Ladies and gentlemen, America is more dangerous than ever with 9 million property crimes last year. Crimes are happening every day. Be proactive and protect your home and family. Simply Safe Home Security System helps guard against criminals, thugs, and thieves. Listen, Simply Safe is the absolute best alarm system and company in America today. Here's why. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's affordable, no contracts to sign, and is built with the latest wireless technology. Simply Safe protects the ones you love the most, even if a criminal cuts your power and phone lines. When you order Simply Safe today, you'll receive a 10% discount along with a free keychain remote. Don't wait. This offer is only valid through February 28th. Take advantage of this special discount offer at GetSimplySafe.com. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Protect your home and family now at GetSimplySafe.com. From 1946 to 1989, during the period known as the Cold War, the enemies of freedom sent teams into their own citizens' homes in order to place listening devices and cameras. They tracked the movements and personal relationships of anyone they could in order to preserve the power of the state. 25 years later, you carry a tracking beacon with you and bug your own homes with your cell phone. History is repeating itself. Tear down this wall. Go to privacycase.com today and get a privacy case. Let's protect ourselves from this high-tech iron curtain that is trying to crush our right to privacy. The American-made privacy case uses military-grade shielding technology to stop these criminals and thieves in their tracks. Go to privacycase.com today and use coupon code GCN for 10% off. Privacycase.com. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a glue free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com. Keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Get the ultimate knife at the ultimate price. The Fox Karambit Knife. Finally available in the U.S. The Fox Karambit Knife opens with one hand faster than you can pull a handgun. For utility, for defense, and for way less than other knives of this caliber. Go to TheUltimateKnife.com. Truly the best knife you will ever own. And only available at TheUltimateKnife.com. Use promo code RADIO at checkout for free shipping. Get the ultimate knife at the ultimate price. At TheUltimateKnife.com. Ball, 
so many things across the nation because it, quote, shows aggression. And I'm not saying this is a good thing. It might be a bad thing. But in the old days, at orphanages uh, and at homes for disabled children, they would take the teenage boys that were aggressive and fighting each other and have weekly boxing matches. Because they found if you let everybody fight in there, people don't get hurt as bad and they get their energies out. That's probably what happened here. CBS News reports Hamptons Group home workers allegedly ran developmentally disabled fight club. Well, I mean, I know people, and I was just talking to a guy today who has a good friend, is a powerlifting coach, and you know, he has he runs a school's uh, you know, basically you know the Down syndrome group for a big Houston school. He was telling me for all those kids to go in there and power lift and all the rest of it, and they got boxing things for them and everything. Uh, uh, but uh, now, if you do that, well, you're going to go to jail. So. There you go, but then they'll just go out and beat each other to death on the side of the street instead of in a boxing match. <laughs> I remember getting in fights when I was in like an eighth grade, and the coaches would then go and get boxing gloves. This only happened a few times because that was being phased out then. And would say, all right, go ahead, after school, go ahead and beat the hell out of each other. And we weren't mad at each other at the point, ended up being friends, but we'd end up punching each other for about 30 minutes and... Now you're going to go run around the field 10 times and then laugh at us. And, uh, they just don't do those rites of passage anymore, folks. And that's what's going on here. Now, it's one thing if you make prisoners fight, and that's an old tradition. Um, and, and some of that's come out in the news. But they can just turn anything in, into something bad now. And, and this might be. If they're making them do it or something, it's, it's a bad thing. Uh, let's talk to Mike in New York. Mike, you're on the air. Thanks for calling in. Hey, great to speak with you, Alec. Hey, buddy. Uh, you know, you had me cracked up there about Hillary, description of a pile of dog crap. Maybe it should be the reverse of your uh, uh, police issue of the magazine with you on the cover and the, the horns in the background. Maybe she could have a halo on her head. <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, Mom, you know, I can use childish humor against her because she's already committed every crime. We can already politically show all the horrible things she's done. But I'm just sick of her being promoted like a celebrity. Uh, her and Michelle Obama, I mean, they're two snapping turtles, man. Two crazy-looking, crazy-eyed-looking, ugly women. And, and I got to hear all day about how beautiful and smart they are. And I mean, I'm just sick of it. I mean, they just force-feed us this political class of scum. And then no one is allowed to criticize them in the mainstream media. They're fired. I'm done. I mean, I, I'm sick of Hillary Clinton in my life. I'm sick of her. Aren't you sick of her? Absolutely. I could go on with the story, but let me get to my other points. You just chuckled me so much. A uh, little astral trivia for yourself and your listeners. I think today was the first time I heard you. You're going to turn 4-0 next Tuesday. Uh, who do you share uh, that birthday with, month and day? Uh, one of your great mentors and mine as well. I know Burt Reynolds has the same birthday. Really? Try George Washington. Uh, you know, I think he does. Guys, look up George Washington the day he was born. Lincoln's the day after. I have George Washington's birthday. That's really cool. Yeah, uh, it's really I, cool. I, right. like, I like George Washington. Absolutely. Uh, let me get into my main story. Uh, I've had uh, been on disability since cancer surgery last spring, and I, I've been uh, in business for 35 years and got nothing to show for it. Uh, but to what I've relied on is the basic SNAP programs and the heat benefits and so on and so forth. So we've recently had the, after the elections, a change in county executives, which was a different party until he brings all his cronies in. We got a temporary acting social service commissioner. And uh, I filed online for my recertification, which is required every six months biannually for the SNAP program. And uh, I got a call from a vocal interview over the phone, and to make a long story short, what they're telling me now is that if only I pay my expenses like property and school taxes, are they recognized? So I contacted my newly elected congressman, which, by the way, Sean Patrick Maloney, is only the second uh, homosexual gay in Congress to get married or to be married. I want to know what you think of Cuomo saying if you're pro-life or pro-gun, get out of the state. That is an outrageous, impeachable uh, statement to tell people get out of the state if I don't agree with you. By this chief law enforcement officer, it's, it's pretty outrageous. Good to hear from you. Very interesting.
By the way, they were just looking at who I share birthdays with. Sarah Palin, Thomas Edison.